This is really something. I'm headed in to the studio because I, firstly, I want to, wow. Can we just for a moment? <laughs> firstly, I was contemplating taking class anyways. Secondly, ooh, my voice. Secondly, I got a text last night from the, from my employee who's scheduled to work the desk this morning. And she has a fever right now, unfortunately for her. So last night we were trying to figure out who could take uh, her shift. And I never heard back from my managers and it kind of concerns me. I'm sure they handled it, but um, I texted them a couple of times this morning, still haven't heard anything. So I'm just gonna, I just feel like I need to go. I feel like I need to go in. <laughs> so usually when I have these premonitions, if you will, they are accurate. So I am going to head there and take class. If I end up working desk, I'll probably still take class just because I would like to do that. And I think that I'll be able to, as things are pretty chill during the first class anyway. So that's the plan right now. Thank God that lighting was absolutely <laughs> tragic. I was awake anyways. I've been awake since like freaking 4 a.m. So just like I have a little bit of a cough and I think that the heat is going to help. I feel totally fine otherwise, just a lot of coughing happening. So I think the heat will help, um, especially because it's humid in there. And I just, it's been so dry that um, it's not helping anything at all. So I'm gonna go in there, enjoy class. Maybe, maybe I'll be working desk, who knows? no one else would have been here so um, I think we need to dial in the process for what happens when someone gets sick and a shift is dropped and what that communication looks like so it was a learning process it was a learning opportunity <laughs> it's been so long since I've worked the desk and it's a lot of fun I'm gonna roll some lavender towels right now Okay, that turned out to be a morning, but we got most of the cleaning stuff accomplished. I think I, there were some things that I couldn't get done because I'm already gonna be late to this thing. Other than that, it was a great morning. I loved seeing everybody. I haven't worked the desk in a while, so I'm glad, honestly, that I got the opportunity to do that. So now we're on our way home. I am feeling so gross, like absolutely disgusting. And so we're gonna go home and maybe get a snack in my body, take a shower and get dressed as quickly as possible to head to this thing. Luckily, it's not that far away from the house. It's not like all the way back into town. So that's a blessing. This is like my favorite. Like oh, that's right. Yeah. 
happy Monday. I slept like trash once again. I have this really bad cough right now and I'm not sick. I feel totally fine. I just am like nonstop coughing. I woke up at like, I don't even know, 3.30, 3.45 and just intermittently throughout the night. So I'm headed to boot camp right now. I have some admin stuff to do, so we'll meet up around noon. But yesterday, or this whole weekend was just awesome. Saturday, uh, Nick and I just kind of laid low. We ran like an errand or two, and then we came back home. We got lunch, and then that's about it. And then, let's see, yesterday, it's harvest this weekend. So yesterday, we went to Sausalito, and um, I think I explained this, but um, with some friends, and we went and got some um, light bites, like, appetizers afterwards um, before heading home but it was just really nice it was a great weekend and um, I had I had a really great time just at the party and I'm just still riding a high from that party I, I think a lot of people are I when I was working the desk yesterday um, people just were asking about it and those those um, of the people who couldn't make it they were like tell me everything, like how to go, and just so supportive and excited for us. And it was just really sweet. So it's just, and everyone just had so many amazing things to say about, just about the party and um, just how fun it was. So I just, I just think that's so amazing. And I'm, ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. And um, it just really filled my cup up doing that. And um, yeah, like I said, I've just been riding that high all weekend long. It's been really great. Do I teach on Thursday? I don't think I teach on Thursday, but I do teach Friday ride class at 9 a.m. again. So yeah, and I teach on Sunday this week too, uh, which will be kind of fun. It's a pop-up class just to hopefully get people who haven't taken a ride class yet or, and we're also trying to figure out if this time on Sunday is better because um, it's a little bit earlier than we currently offer our class on Sunday. So we'll see if it sticks, but the pop-up ride is free. So I'm hoping that'll entice people to get in and try it. We'll see what happens. I need to playlist a little bit today. Uh, so we'll see where the day takes us, but first, and foremost, I need to finish the newsletter and that's kind of my main priority for today. bright red face. It looks a lot better and normal on camera. Wow, I feel like I overheated in that class a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It was a warm one, very humid. I was going to take yoga, but I just don't want to risk having a freaking coughing fit in there, so I'm bummed. But we're gonna go on a walk instead. It looked like it rained here, like everything is soaking wet, so I wonder if it actually did last night, but I think it was just like probably heavy mist. Holy smokes, that was a really hot class. It was really good. I'm super glad that I went. Okay, so now I'm headed to Laurel to go on a walk. I just know what neighborhood I wanna walk through and it's not Foothill today. Back on the road. Um, That was a very, that was a good walk. I did, I can't remember over four miles, I think it was four and a half maybe. I discovered some new, like a new little route. Uh, so that was fun. Nick and I are going to meet up and do some admin work together. We're gonna go to Avila because we haven't been there in a while. Probably at Kraken. So I'm gonna meet him there. That's where I'm going right now.
cuff is really intense and um, it's been a night and a morning. However, uh, I was able to get a little bit of sweat on doing some laundry currently. I think I'm gonna go hike Ted because I feel like the some vitamin D is really gonna help me out. And I'm getting some work done, but this guy, he really needs exercise. So Nick and I are gonna go on a hike, then we have to stop by the studios. I need to post some flyers up. I also need to set up the filming equipment again so people can start filming in there this week because we use that for the party and it's still in my car. So that is the day I was supposed to teach today, but I think I'm, I just actually got it subbed because I don't want to be coughing during class. That would be really embarrassing. And I want to keep everyone healthy. So that's where we're at. We out here, we out here, we're being goofy up here. Uh, it's beautiful, perfect weather. Ted is living the dream. And... The sun's gonna come out in a sec. Yeah, the sun's gonna come out. Oh, right? that's it, yeah. It's a thick cloud. It is a thick one. I didn't see that coming. <sighs> I don't know what's after this, but... I swear I had, an, I had an agenda. Oh, and then Laurel. it got switched to Costco. <laughs> and then, or Laurel, then Costco. Um, or the, yeah, Laurel, then Costco. And then who knows? And then we have, we have cool things and we're gonna have to go home. I know. So what's the plan? I'm gonna be hungry by then, so that'll be perfect. We're at Costco. That, oh yeah. Nick's living his best life. Just look at they too they long? Are. Well, they're like, there's definitely two big rounds. Work pants? It is risky business. Don't do it, Nick. Back in the car. We got a lot of stuff. We got a nice big Costco haul, so we're gonna go home, unpack it, and freaking chill for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. All right, Ted. Okay, I've not spoken to the camera in a minute. It's been my Wednesday morning routine. We'd wake up early, teach the 6 a.m., go on a walk, take the 9 a.m., and then I took a shower and I'm headed to Laurel right now. Yeah, it's been a great morning. Yesterday, Nick and I just sort of like, what was it? Tuesday. Oh. Um, I wasn't feeling very well. I am still navigating this cough. I'm still like working through it. Last night was the best night's sleep I've, sleep I've had for like four nights. All the other nights have just been hacking and hacking and hacking. Um, poor Nick. I am realizing that a lot of people are going through the same sickness, whatever's going around. But other than that, I feel fine. So I don't get it. But I just sort of took it easy yesterday. I mean, we did go to the grocery store. I think I showed you part of Costco. But then after the grocery store, we just sort of hung out and uh, we got some work done and I was able to just relax. Now we are going to sushi tonight and I'm very excited about it. But Nick is, um, I think, doing payroll right now. I'm going to head to Laurel. I need to drop some stuff off. I think I'm also going to bang out some admin work there and then head home and kind of see what he wants to do for the rest of the day. But I'm going to go ahead and call him right now to check in and make sure that he is emotionally hanging in there because payroll is a bitch. And then we'll go from there. I'm posting up. Wow. <laughs> we were going through our liquor cabinet yesterday. I have the salad, as you saw, and it's bigger than I expected it to be or wanted it to be. I'm gonna just eat this and continue to get some work done while I wait for Nick to get home and my dog is basking in the sun, I think. I'll show you. Hi buddy, good boy, good boy. It's date night. And when I'm saying this, I'm watching Nick just take a rat from the rat trap and just toss it over the fence. <laughs> Live a very glamorous life here in the uh, single wide mobile home stead, if you will. So hopefully we're gonna catch some more rats. It sounds very inhumane, but they destroy everything that we own. So very romantic. We're going to sushi, but first we're gonna get a, um, a happy hour cocktail at Madonna. So that is the plan. I feel very dressed up, very dressed up, super cute. Um, I got this sweater at Costco yesterday and I'm loving it. It's like the sweater I never knew that I needed. 
it fits perfectly. So I'm excited. I'm excited for a night. I was fading real fast until we just like got up and started getting dressed. So I think, I think this will be a good time. Oh, there's Nick. He just tossed another rat over the fence. Look at that cute man. It's date night. And we're early to our reservation. And I had to I hate to be negative, but the service and the vibe at Madonna was subpar, so we just like we had to leave after one. It was just not it, it wasn't it tonight. But it's Wednesday. After the ice melted in my martini, it tasted better. <laughs> but it's Wednesday, okay, and we noticed that downtown is very dead on Wednesdays, which I understand because nobody's really doing, it's no one, it's six no, no one but us is having it's date night on it's Wednesdays. Six <laughs> it's six o'clock. It's still early. Yeah. What are you most excited for at Sushi Night like Albacore Roll? Alright, ready? Do it. I just like... can't really see me, but I picked up the 6 a.m. sculpt class, so that's where I'm headed right now. I took yesterday off just to make sure that I could recover, hopefully fully. I'm not, I'm like 99% right now um, as far as my health goes, but um, I took yesterday off just to make sure that I took a rest day. So that's why no content yesterday at all. I just laid around basically for the most part. Um, so now I'm headed to teach the 6 a.m. sculpt class. And then I also teach the nine third or the nine ride class. And so there's a lot going on this morning. And then I'm gonna um, meet up with my parents after that. So that's what's going on right now. And I am feeling a lot better and I'm like coughing less and less, which is like, thank God, because I don't think I could, I don't think I could hang for much longer, to be honest. So, I just had a great class. That was awesome. I made a black coffee today and I love it. Actually, no, there's some almond milk in it, but um, oh, I just needed something warm and cozy and this is so good. Mm. Back on coffee and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the bar class and then, and then I'll teach the 9 a.m. Uh, since I didn't work out yesterday, I'm like, I have all sorts of energy. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do that and then, yeah. And then I kind of have some time before I see my parents so um we'll just see what I get up to between class and that but let's do some bar. Hey, let's freaking do this I'm super nervous to teach spin for a number of reasons number one it's been a while um number two I'm just like deathly afraid of having like a coughing attack while I'm on while I'm mic'd up but I just can't like do the whole class I don't think I think that's what I'm gonna have to really and just how I'm genuinely feeling that was a great bar class I'm so I just love bar so much it's just 60 minutes of deep core work and I just freaking love it let's go teach a spin class Okay, uh, first of all, that was one of the hardest rides I have ever endured because my endurance is just so off due to just being unwell and that was one of my fears like I expressed earlier and it was really hard. So I just stopped throughout the class um, and coached instead of riding, which helped, but oh God, that was so hard. That was that was really rough. I just went to, or just got out of Dollar Tree. I got some um, wrapping supplies for my little thank you gifts um, for my managers for doing such a great job um, planning the party. So I am going to tuck this away and then head to Laurel to wrap that 
and I'm giving them the three bottles we had remaining <laughs> from the party. I thought that was pretty, pretty cute. And then, and then some Sycamore Hot Springs gift cards, gift certificates. So I think that's going to be really good. And that's about it. So we're going to wrap that. And then Nick is going to meet me back in town so that we can ride together to Ancient Peaks Winery for lunch with the rents. Woo! It has been a very, I guess, energetic and um, active. There we go. That's the word. Morning. Yeah, a great start to the weekend. A great end to the week, I will say, just because I haven't been feeling well. It's just been frustrating because I, I hate not being able to be fully present at the studio and also just... I was just so mentally ready to get back to like a workout routine because last week was a little bit on and off because of like the party and all these other things that came up. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be consistent this week and then hit with a freaking bad cough, but all good. It's what happens and I needed to take a break. So we took a break and we feel a lot better. I got a great night's sleep last night, by the way. I slept through the night once again, which felt so freaking good. And so I feel well rested and we'll just see where the freaking day takes us, dude. I'm in my office getting some admin stuff done. Took a shower, first and foremost, took a shower. And now I'm just waiting um, 15 minutes or so until Nick gets here, so. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to eat. I'm so freaking hungry, I cannot wait. And I, I thought about having a snack and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna eat in like an hour. It's okay. I got this. I can survive this. I'm just getting some emails out. Nick and I will head to Ancient Peaks from the party. We are going to use that and we are going to wrap these gifts. Oh, this guy in front of me is so smelly. Oh, 